Right, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Following on from the last episode, we're going to keep moving on with the Z-Tower for a bit longer. Need to actually get the actual studs out of the top crankcase. I'm going to pull that out for a second, it's just sitting in the corner. Clear the bench off. I've got a few bits up in the corner. And then we can crack to work with that. As I said in the last episode, we actually picked up a stud removal tool. So we're going to have a look at that and see how it works, see if it's any good. So it's something I picked up off eBay. Uh, it was about, about a tenner. It wasn't that expensive, I think just under £9.60 £9 or something. So at the moment it looks sort of kind of, well, I'm not quite sure, but I've done a little bit of research. I've seen a few people use them, not very many, so... I'll probably do a practice run first off camera just try it and see how it goes and then uh, we'll crack in and get all them studs out so that's enough chat let's crack on it's got the top crankcase up so next job is I need to take all these studs out because obviously I'm going to go for upgraded studs heavy duty my main concern was like a lot of people, how do I get these out? I've had a look on it on YouTube, gone through various, and there seems to be many, many different ways. There's the double nut version, or some people have got tools that uh, they use to actually lock on. So, I went on eBay, had a look, and actually came up with this stud remover and installer uses a ratchet varying size different holes so obviously I just need a smaller version so we'll do bigger studs obviously before filming I did do a test run I wanted to make sure that I could actually use the tool, how it worked. And that one's in there loose. So that is the first stud. So it'll make life a lot easier actually clean the gasket and the surfaces so I'm going to take these out remembering this side is cylinder one I want to keep them together so I know exactly where they came from they're still in good condition so I'll probably uh, get rid of these on eBay and it will help me pay for the actual heavy duty studs so let's click on to this one and we'll see how this tool does as I say I've done one it seemed to be alright, but I need to show you how this works. Alright, so I'm actually going to tack this one next, do the back section, and then we'll move on to the front section. So, using the small hole, I'm going to go in an anti clockwise to that grips. You can see it's gripped it. And there we go, it's starting to turn. I did pre-soak all the studs overnight.
And there we go, that's another stud out of the way. So that's two down. So I'll do one more and then I'll speed up the sequence to do the rest. But as I say, that was just that was off eBay. About a tenner, I think. Yeah, stud remover and installer. So seems to work quite well. Obviously with the grip, it does put a bit of scoring in, but literally I've just wound the nut back on. And the thread seem okay. But it's one technique that, you know, for a tenor I found it worked. Obviously some people might say the double nut system is free and easier. I did try it, didn't have a great deal of luck with it. But I'm going to crack on with this, so we'll do the next one and then work along. Alright, so I zoomed you in on this one, so as you can see it fits through. That connects with the thread. Clockwise. So as you can see there. There we go, there's another one out. So that's three done, so I'm gonna work through the next nine and get them all out and then lay them out. It is a handy piece of kit. I say how often I'm gonna use it. Obviously it depends on how many uh, big bore engines I intend to do or am I going to replace studs but uh, for a tenner it's something that can sit in my toolbox you know it didn't cost a fortune so but let me crack on get these done right so that is the first well the back six so all I've got now is the front six exactly the same using the, the tool Yes, yeah, so they've actually come out okay, so. So, I'll get these out and then join me again when these six are out. And then it's a case of stripping down, rubbing down, preparing all these surfaces. All right, just on the last one. That's it, that's all of them out. So now it gives me a lot better access to get the gasket. I need to check out the guide as well. That needs to come out. Because I'm sure of whether some of the shards that were in the bottom of the engine are actually from the guides.
So that's the six front, six rear studs. Again, that was the actual tool. Stub remover and installer, again, on eBay, about a tenner. But uh, quite happy with that. So next job is, again, similar to the bottom crankcase. It'll be a case of cleaning all these surfaces off. Probably run some of this through the parts washer, get a brush in there, get some paint stripper on some of it and try removing all this grime and clean up all the surfaces. So I'll hopefully get that done by the next episode. Now I can actually get some paint. Get some paint on it and uh, then we won't be far off starting to rebuild. Obviously I'm still waiting for some of the gaskets. So there will be a delay on some of it, but uh, as I say, we can jump between bikes and I'll revisit the Z engine, obviously, when the parts come and then we can do a bit more. So hopefully it'll come out with that good gloss finish and all the surfaces nicely cleaned. I'll give the inside a good clean out as I did last time, but yeah, there's lots of uh, surfaces to clean up. But as I say, I'll continue on with this and I'll get this into a prep state for the next episode. Right, so thanks for joining me on that one. I hope that helped some people. It was a new experience for me. As I say, that, that tool, it was actually pretty good. I was, I was quite surprised. I will be going through some of my tools, as I say, I did say that a few episodes ago. I wanted to do sort of like a bring back another shop chat. People have been asking me about tools in the toolbox. So that will be the episode after next. Next episode, we're going to continue on with the top crankcase, get it stripped down and get some paint on it, get all the surfaces cleaned up. As I say, with the studs that have come out, they're actually still in quite good condition. I've labelled them up, fronts and rears. I may just give them a clean up and probably stick them on eBay. I don't need them. So anybody interested, Z1000J2 uh, cylinder studs. Again, appreciate all your feedback. Big, big thank you to all my patrons. The support you give me is absolutely fantastic. and I, I can never thank you enough for the help you give me. Anybody interested in supporting the channel, there's a link in the description. I say everything goes back into the channel and it is much, much appreciated. So join me again in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye. Yeah.